this is Mark from the ATV Guys and this is Tech Talk 2.0 and today we're going to talk about axles. Axles is probably one of the, most, the, parts that, the parts that are going to break the most, especially if you're out a lot doing a lot of mud riding or racing or ex anything extreme with your ATV or, uh, or UTV. Uh, why do these things break? Well, I'll try and explain how actually these things work. We've got a donor here, and this one has been severely beaten. <laughs> this is a chromoly shaft, actually. It's been totally destroyed. It's a clean break. This means this ATV, this is an ATV one, this ATV spun and actually grabbed, like spinning on ice and then grabbing asphalt or spinning in mud and then grabbing a piece of rock or whatever and the wheel stopped dead. Well, something's got to give and in this case is the axle shaft that gave. Now, this is an uncommon brake. This is really extreme. You don't see these often. What, what does the axle joint actually do? Now, most of you know this, but this was developed for one reason only, is for independent suspension. It's to be able to have the wheel moving up and down and still being driven by the differential and drive your wheel. So this is how, this is why we have axles. It's like all front wheel drive or four wheel drive vehicles all have these. So your car probably has a set of these. Now, why do they break? When you hear your axles going crick, 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 when you're turning, it's because this here, this part here is the cage, bearing cage, and you can see the bearings inside. And this is all sleeved in, so this is what drives. The bearings actually drive, they're being driven by the differential to the bearings, the bearings to the housing, and to the shaft, which goes out to your wheel. Now, most of the time when they break, it's because of this cage that gets warped. And it makes, eventually this, ca this cage breaks and it's gonna pop out the bearings. <clears throat> See on this shaft here? Now it's kind of locked up because it, it is defective. See, <laughs> we got parts going all over the place. But this cage is, loose and it's not straight anymore. So what happens when the cage moves around and goes to that bearing, you get this crunk, crunk, crunk sound and this is where these have gone. If you look at these closely, you'll see that the bearings are starting to be, uh, the, the, all this, the sheen on them is, is being shaved by the cage that's being warped. So this is a defective one. It, it still works if it wouldn't have been snapped off. It would still work, but it'd be very, very noisy and that would be indication of changing that, uh, that CV shaft because it's not gonna last very long after that. Now let's get rid of this. Now, replacement. You can either use your dealer's uh, OEM. If you're just riding, uh, you know, riding casually, riding a little bit of sporty, but when the going gets tough and you like mud riding or you do some heavy intensive work with your machine, this is what you want. Heavy duty, heavy duty drive shafts. This is a complete axle. Changing one, one joint sometimes might seem a good idea, but the other joint usually has been abused too and it's gonna go after a while. It's gonna be more expensive to fix this than to replacing the whole axle with one of these bad boys. Now these are Rhino from uh, Super ATV. I've been using those for a few years and I've been, uh, I've been mud racing a lot. I, I do a lot, of, a lot of mud racing and these have been good to me up to now. And uh, I like the angle of these because when you put a lift kit with stock, with stock axles, it's always a question of time before something breaks. So these guys have a pretty intense angle. See? <laughs> this is really very good. And they're pretty much dirt cheap compared to OEM because these are worth, these start at around $224.95. You can get these uh, at our partner, atvtireskanada.com. 
or through any dealer in Canada through Kimpex. So this is the stuff. Now, <coughs> what happens if you're going to the extreme? We've got these bad boys. You see the, the size difference? <laughs> now, this is about as close to an automotive uh, uh, axle that you'll find on the market right now. These are slightly more expensive, but they will last a lot longer, can take some serious angle, serious abuse. They're very tough, and these, <laughs> they're dramatically heavy. But seriously, very good quality product. Uh, those are warranted in Canada, so you don't have to send these back. One thing, because sending these back through uh, carrier is going to be very expensive for you guys. So this is to $224.95 uh, plus uh, starting at. These are, if I'm not mistaken, from $289 to $299 and up depending on your application. The 2.0s are reserved for high power UTV uh, like the, the Can-Am Maverick X3 and the Polaris Razor Turbo and XP series. Uh, these are limited. These are not available right now for ATVs. So that's about it. If you're looking for more stuff, don't forget to like our channel and uh, we'll be back soon with some more Tech Talk 2.0.